Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. Bye, 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 bye. This should be a hard-hitting matchup, to say the least. Wolfgar coming right at you from almost practically a different century. But that doesn't stop the fact that he is very talented in that ring. But speaking of talent, you have to mention this man as well. Right up there with the top contenders for that newly crowned heavyweight championship. Chuck Deep, the Lord of the Lats. Showing off everything he's got as That's he makes right. his way to the ring. That is a textbook trademark maneuver by the Lord of the Lats sticking his chest down and his lats up. And he is giving a kiss to his baby ringside. Gotta like to see that. From the Lord of the Lats, Chuck D from the crossroads of the Catskills. He's been wrestling some 12, 14 years. A veteran of the independent wrestling game and a dominant force here in Dynasty Pro Wrestling. As you said, Sebastian, a man who is definitely in the hunt for that heavyweight title. And of course, Wolfgar also looking to make a name for himself. And we are just about to be underway here with a new referee. Not sure where they pulled this from, but Wolfgar coming out strong right off the bat. Quick roll up, quick two count. Quickly following up is Deep. Definitely taking advantage of these uh, lats that he seems to be so fond of and using his upper body strength, dropping Wolfgar back to the ground, following up, ducking a clothesline attempt from him, but nailing him with a cross body and another quick two. Well, and you had said earlier, Sebastian, that this Wolfgar seems to be from a different time, a different era. He just is a, I mean, a throwback isn't far enough back, as far as I'm concerned, to get to this, this middle-aged marauder, the Norwegian, who slays dragons in his spare time. Well, right now, Deep showing that he's a little tougher than a dragon because Wolfgar has been... It's been very difficult for him to take advantage of any point of this match. Oh. And a huge clothesline drops him over the top oh, rope. My His goodness. leg catching the ring steps there yes, as well. Yes, absolutely. That, that leg uh, definitely hitting the ring steps, and I'm not sure he's going to be able to get back to a vertical base here. This, this might be it for Wolfgar. Eh? That's some additional damage right there. Was not expecting that, but I'm sure Deep does not mind. But even though limping around on the ringside, Wolfgar, he scouts that move very well. Stops a suicide dive with a forearm oh, and, and giving now. him his own shot right into the oh, steps. Oh, my goodness. Throwing Deep head first right into those stairs. Devastating maneuver there by Wolfgar using the steps as a partner here in this matchup. And, oh, sending those lats right into the... The steel post. Wolfgar might be limping right now from taking that inadvertent shot on the steps, but he's trying to make it so that Deep can't walk himself. Ah, he's just saying random Norwegian phrases. I'm not even sure that's Norwegian. That just could be his own dialect he makes up there, that Wolfgar, but... Can't translate that for you, but we can definitely tell you what a European uppercut means, and that's pain. Yeah, we He's sure got can. Deep on his back, and now trying to get into the mind of Deep, barking at him while he's on the ground. A foot on the chest results in a two count. Very cocky from the Norwegian now, and he's got him cinched up here. Looking for some type of pump handle, and absolutely launches him a suplex right over his head. And Wolfgar, very amused with the work that he's done so far, gets a little bit more of a cover that time, but still, Chuck Deep kicks out. I thought that might be the 
Maelstrom there that he throws about, but a modified version of us. Another European, of course, European uppercuts all the rage in the middle age of Norway. And, uh, oh. A quick sunset flip results in a kick out from Wolfgar. Deep trying to catch him off guard, but he connects with another clothesline. That one might have not connected fully, but still enough to drop deep back to the ground as now he hears a mouthful from the Norwegian. Uh, he heard it. I don't know that he was able to translate it, but he's translating it into... And a oh, look at that. Look at that face. And a blatant choke. Not even cares. And he's very proud. Looking at the damage that he's done with those hands, you would imagine, at least in his mind, he thinks he slayed some dragons with those hands. Well, what I like about Wolfgar and what you don't expect uh, a guy of his size is the amount of strength that he is able to use in his moves in the ring. Just much stronger than he appears. He's not a large guy compared to the brute Van Slykes of the world and the and the uh, the Bull High Towers, but he is certainly on par with some of the strongest men we've ever seen here in Dynasty Pro Wrestling. He's been showing a vicious offensive attack so far, slamming deep back down to the ground, following up with a nice jumping elbow. Gets the lateral press, hooks the leg, can't finish him another two count. Well, and all that strength from Wolfgar is also complemented by his agility, so kind of the total package with Wolfgar, the thing you have to worry about is a ring veteran like the Lord of the Latch, Chuck Deep, is able to pull out all the stops. Oh! And uses his head into the Netherland region there of the Norway nuts, if you will. Please don't. I won't quote you on that, but whatever the case may be, both men down. This replacement official seems to be doing his job well thus far. Both men making their way back up to their feet as Deep hits him with a chop. Wolfgar returns with a forearm, and these two are now going forearm for forearm. An uppercut in there. Deep quickly taking advantage, whipping Wolfgar, and catches him with a jumping clothesline. Hits him with another one, drops him to the mat. Asking for him to come back. Ducks an attempt from a clothesline, and a big belly-to-belly -belly overhead suplex by Deep. Following up with the cover. One, two, and Wolfgar just gets his fingertips onto the rope. Oh, and you gotta like the awareness of of Wolfgar getting that bottom rope just at the last moment there. Not losing this matchup here to the Lord of the Lats. And, oh, now, Showing some smarts as yeah. well as the athletic ability that he's had in this match so far. Oh, does not hit the turnbuckle, but... Deep with a springboard bulldog from the second rope. Now has him in the middle of the ring. No rope break here, but he can't finish with a very near attempt. Two and seven eighths. There. Wow, that was very close. The replacement official here has been on top of this matchup. Of course, our regular officials are sitting ringside on strike. Not interested in getting beat up anymore in the Mike King administration. Wolfgar with a... Gets him in a full Nelson and absolutely drops him off that. But another kick out by Deep, right. showing some resilience. Well, and you gotta like Wolfgar's intensity here. Not giving an inch, not backing off. Even when he's taken some offense from Chuck Deep, he still managed to get back in control in this matchup. And Wolfgar now up to the second rope. About to fly like a dragon here. Looking for something a little more devastating, pointing to the skies as he takes flight but misses completely. Deep scouting that well, looking for a sharpshooter. And he gets it over and he has it locked in. What's Wolfgar going to do? His last win came by submission, now on the opposite end of things, looking to muscle his way out. Well, he's got to get to the rope if you're Wolfgar. Got to make your way to that bottom rope. Got to drag the Lord of the Lats. And, and he, he was able to do that. Beneath, yes. As you mentioned, Wolfgar showing impressive strength. That sharpshooter was in there deep for a while. Wolfgar misses a kick. Deep. Looking for something innovative. Wolfgar reversing. And connects with a big power bomb. It looks like the Maelstrom is coming. And that storm connects to deep. Well, that middle evil storm, the maelstrom, if you will, enough to get the job done. Wolfgar, impressive in this match against the Lord of the Lats. Wolfgar adding another name to the list of people he's slain. And you can definitely make a case for him as an up-and-coming contender, maybe quite possibly getting a title match in the near future. 
The nastiness from the Norwegian was in and on display here tonight. The Lord of the Lats, just another victim of this middle-aged marauder here, and he is just absolutely devastating with his offense here and just took it to the Lord of the Lats. Chuck Deep, who has just not been the same since Pure Dynamite broke up a few months back.